dude, you guys like came out of the room at like an hour ago and you guys aren't even on the water yet. Yeah, he had to shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wish. <laughs> What's up, lunatics? Welcome back. Another day out here on Sam Rayburn. Practice day number three for the MLF Big Five Toyota Series event out here on Rayburn. Um, big thank you to GCI Outdoors, Six Sense Fishing, Waterland Fishing Optics, and Dual Molds for sponsoring all these Toyota Series events. Super excited to be out here, but the fishing has been tough. I don't know what it is about Rayburn. I don't know what it is about Texas. I don't know what it is about these FLWs but it seems like every time I get out on the water to go fishing, the fishing's super tough. Today's no different, or this trip has been no different. Uh, my buddy Justin's struggling too. Everybody I've talked to has been struggling, so it's not just me, but um, I got a lot of work to do still. Um, having fun out here still, but it'd be nice to be able to fish than I have been. Yesterday was real, real brutal. The first day out here, I did catch a few but follow along and uh, hopefully we can get on something and start putting the pieces of the puzzle together. So let's go, let's go fishing. First spot, this is what we're going with. We got the dual mold swinging football head with the uh, six cents stroker craw on there. Um, just trying to cover a little water. It's a little rocky point right here. So I'm gonna throw this thing around and just slow roll it on the bottom, bang it off those rocks. And uh, hopefully we can get a fish or two and see if that maybe that offshore bite's good in the morning. So what I'm really trying to do with this bait is just cover water. I feel like with this thing, I can get on some of these little rocky areas and just cast this thing around, ground, slow, reel it. Oh, I just got bit right there. Literally just got bit, guys. There's one. A little, little large mouth. Ain't not what we're going for, but at least it's a start to the day. It's peeing. I think I just got peed on by a fish. <laughs> but that's what I'm trying to do right there, guys. You just saw it happen. It's exactly what I'm trying to do is go around throw this thing bang it into those rocks and uh, get bit so but that's kind of gross I just got peed on by that fish but hopefully hopefully we got some more fish down there and hopefully there's some some good ones because that's what we're here for we're not here for ones that can't keep but we are here for some big ones big old Sam Rayburn bass There's one. That's a better fish. Uh, small one, but we caught another one. Thought it was better. Feels better. Feels better for sure. But it's small still. But it looks like a keeper at least. Looks like a keeper. It is a keeper probably, but still far from what we need. Well, we already did better than yesterday with at least two fish in the boat. <laughs> Both of them are, are real small, but at least we got two fish. Uh, we got a ways to go on the size because there was a recent team tournament out here where 20 pounds won, which for Rayburn winning with 20 pounds is, is kind of lower weight. I mean, don't get me bad. Don't get me wrong, in a lot of places, 20 pounds is a is a good bag. But for Rayburn, you just, you never know. You might end up with some huge, huge weight for a winning bag. But with the way it's fishing right now and some of the talk around, 15 pounds could put you in the in the top 10 for sure from what it seems like. Cause it's just fishing. It's hard to get bites. It's hard to get those plus size bites as well. So hopefully, Hopefully fishing a little bit differently here today can start to produce more consistency along with better quality. Something else I'm trying to do with this swing head is just make a shallow cast and then make a deep cast, make a shallow cast, make a deep cast. So that way 
I'm covering the different water columns. I can really cover those out, outside fish and then uh, also get some of those shallow fish because the first fish that I caught was probably 12 to 15 foot and then the last fish that I caught was definitely up on the bank. So they're kind of just scattered around on this on this rock up on this point. And another thing that I like about this area, oh, I'm bit again. There's one. There's another fish. That one was deep. Another small one. But they're eating this thing, that's for sure. But they're small. Like, even at 15 pounds, that's not going to do anything. Like, I don't even know if that's going to keep. But I'm just hoping that, you know, maybe you just got to weed through them or something. I'm not exactly sure. But maybe that's the case. Well, considering how things have gone so far in practice, uh, I'd say that was a productive little stop. Um, one good thing is it's close to the ramp, which is always nice to have something close to the ramp at the end of the day or something. Uh, we're gonna have a south wind, I guess, that's pretty gnarly the first day of the tournament. So if it's nice and close, this is a good way to be able to catch some fish. I could throw a Carolina rig around here too. They accomplish similar stuff. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go head over and uh, try to find some southern wind protected banks and maybe I can do the same thing that aren't too far away from the ramp. There's one. There's one. There's a fish. It's the best one so far, but still pretty small. But that's a keeper for sure. Look at all those black spots on this fish. That's crazy. Look at those black spots. Weird, right? Hopefully you can see them. There's there's one like on its lips and its mouth and stuff too. But hey guys, real quick, we gotta talk about Waterland sunglasses. Waterland are the sunglasses I'm wearing right now. These are the Hybros. These are my favorite pair of sunglasses. I wear them all the time. Most of the time I wear them off of the water. You guys know that already. And I always talk about the Assures. I wear the Assures a lot on the water because it has the full frame on the side. It's gonna help keep out more light, which is something I think is important when you're out on the water. But as you can see, I got the high bros on today. If you're looking for like one pair of sunglasses, you can't afford to get both pairs to have the on the water pair and an off the water pair. Just get whatever style you prefer. These high bros are still gonna get the job done on the water. As I was walking down the ramp, I saw fish in the water, I saw rocks, I could see the moss growing on the rocks, I could see all kinds of stuff. So they'll, they will get the job done. Go to the description and check out the links that I have to the Waterland website. You can also get Waterland sunglasses on the Sixth Sense website. So go to either waterlandco.com or sixthsensefishing.com. You can use my discount code LUNA10. It's good on both uh, at both websites and you're gonna save some money on the sunglasses. Waterlandco.com, use code LUNA10. SixthSenseFishing.com, use code LUNA10, and you can use that LUNA10 code for anything Sixth Sense and anything Waterland. Waterland's also got some dry bags and some awesome apparel. Go check it out. Well, the one good thing about this is I'm getting bit. This is a step in the right direction, but these fish are just not the right size. Like, I keep saying that, and I don't think it's going to be a Texom situation where, you know, 20 pounds get to check but but I don't think that I just got bit again but I don't think that it's going to take giant weight so I want to be realistic on what I'm after but I know that a six or seven pound limit ain't, ain't going to be the deal so um, at some point I'm going to have to maybe abandon this and start looking for some better fish but one thing I do want to do for sure is at least drive around and find some other little rocky areas to have at least, you know, maybe two, three, four more spots. So that way, if I do decide to do this in the tournament, I have a handful of places that I can run to and actually um, know where I'm going instead of trying to find all these spots during the actual tournament. There's one. Little one. Little guy. <sighs> I don't even know if this is going to measure. 
I don't even know if it'll measure. Yeah, it's a keeper. That would be a keeper. Another one on. Another little one. Another little one skiing. Little one. Another fish on. Another little one. Definitely a way to catch some fish. Definitely a way to catch some fish. There's one. There's another one. This is a keeper size one. Boat come by. We don't need to show anybody that we're catching fish over here. Wait till the boat comes by. Wait for the boat to go by. There we go. Well, if I want to catch five pounds, I can come do this. <laughs> Five pound limit. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of nice to at least catch some fish today because I've been fishing, doing other stuff and just not even getting bit. So it's refreshing to finally get bit. I have a little bit more confidence that I can at least catch a few fish. I know they aren't the right fish, but sometimes you just gotta start catching some to kind of just feel like, you know what a bite feels like again, because it's been so long since I've been catching any fish consistently that it's just nice to set the hook on a few and these ones aren't very big so the fact that I am swinging on them and not just shaking them off is isn't a big deal either but man after Texoma and after those last couple days here on Rayburn it's nice to just swing and set the hook and catch a few I like this southern end of the lake. The water clarity is a lot better than the rest of it, but um, it just it just kind of depends what happens, you know, between now and um, the end of the day tomorrow to figure out what the game plan is going to be. But I definitely think I'm going to have one of those swing heads tied on for sure. So let's go look for some grass. I, I've okay. seen it, so I'll go over there and look for you. Okay. It should be just right around the corner to the left. You just think like a big flying shot. Okay. All right, well, delay in the day. We uh, got to go pick up Justin. His boat won't start, so we're going to go try to find him over wherever he is and then tow him on in, and then I'll be back out to uh, keep fishing today. So hopefully he can get that thing fixed. Uh, I guess there's no mechanic, so he's going to be looking uh, to find a place to go get it fixed. So hopefully he can, and uh, he's not on the trolling motor for the tournament. get one of those um tow ropes like legit ones that have the cleat on the the what's it called the carabiner yeah i had one on here oh you did yeah <laughs> all right well justin is back at the ramp we towed him all the way in it was kind of a disaster but we finally got it 
This is Dustin. He was the one fishing with Justin. So now we are going back out on the water and uh, we got plenty of fishing time. So hopefully we can uh, go find some good grass and go find some good fish and some grass because the offshore stuff so far has just been small fish. So got a couple ideas and we'll see how it goes. Look at that. Old thighs. <laughs> it's got her right in the eyeball. <laughs> 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 oh, there's one. Yep, there is big. Oh, Giant, geez. crappie, <laughs> crappie ain't here. On a spinner bait, go figure. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I haven't got a crappie here. There's one. There's a fish. There's a fish, finally. Chatterbait fish. Keeper. Keeper. <coughs> fine grass, fine bass. Yep. Well, it's a wrap for day three of practice. I was trying to wait for Justin to come back so you guys could get an update and hear from him what happened with his boat. But basically, couldn't get it back started, but thankfully he knows somebody out here and was able to go drive over to his house, borrow a boat. So Justin's on his way back, and uh, I'm ready for bed. So I'm tired of waiting. Uh, Justin's got a rig tackle and move tackle around it boat to boat, so... He's had a tough day, but at least he's got a boat to actually fish the tournament instead of just being on the trolling motor. So I will see you guys in the morning for the final day of practice. Hopefully we can go out there and figure something out and try to find some quality. Tomorrow's name of the game is quality because what we've got so far is not the right size. So hope you enjoyed. See ya!